Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Megan. I make all sorts of content here on YouTube and Today I just wanted to kind of talk through new pieces I'm bringing in for spring. So as you can see by the title of this video, I'm basically pulling everything out of my closet and now I am bringing all these pieces in. So I'll just insert try on clips and kind of talk through item by item with you guys. If you want to keep watching, go ahead and stay here and we'll get right into the haul. Okay, let's get right into it. There's a bunch of new trends I think that are coming in for the summer. Skorts and like tennis skirts are coming back, which is really cool. Um, I never thought they were out, but apparently they were and now they're back because people are freaking out. They're like, what is this? It's a skirt with shorts. That's when I felt really old on TikTok. Um, now that I'm out of college and working, I felt like I needed to bring in some new pieces, kind of make my wardrobe look a little bit more grown up. For the oldest purchase, I'm gonna get right into it, are these pants you may have seen on my Instagram. They're from Target, they're Wild Fable. I don't know why the zipper is down. Um, they are a high-waisted pair of pants and they have this nice flare at the bottom. Honestly, super cute and nice for spring. It's a light wash of denim. I actually picked these up on a whim. Um, um, a good price point. I think they're over on my like to know it. So I'll leave everything linked below, obviously. We'll get into my friend owns a boutique and she was clearancing things out for a warehouse sale because she's bringing in new inventory. So this jean jacket is super cute. It's Buddy Love. Um, you can always check her website to see if there's anything left. Denim jacket, super cute. I'll try this on for you guys. I love the detailing. Fun for spring, but edgy with all of the beading and embellishment. Second piece, the front cinches. So flattering, so fun for summer. Um, shows off your arms. It is obviously the same in the back, so... It's really cute on and it has like nice flow to it. Next item is an older purchase, but still like in line with spring. It kind of when I got those pants is from her store. It's She carries Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's a white graphic tee. I think it's super cute when you tie it up. Um, I really like it. And I think you always need a couple sta staple graphic t-shirts in your collection before you rotate them out and bring something new in for the season. Next item, which I don't know why I keep taking these off the hanger and throwing the hanger. Jeans also from her store. So I've had my eye on these for a while. They have ombre on the bottom. And because I can wear jeans to work, I needed some like nice jeans that don't have any holes in them. But yeah, they're like a really stiff, nice pair of denim. I think they were under 60, which is really fun. Next item, this is Sage the Label. It's a very common like um not common it's it's a brand that i look for at other people's boutiques so this skirt is super cute and flattering okay so back to my comment about feeling old apparently people didn't realize skorts exist so this is a skirt for those of you unfamiliar this actually ties this direction and it's super cute on i had tried this on actually when i was there didn't end up buying it from her but i had my eye on it so i was so excited when i could snag one from her so that is everything from her boutique that i bought and then i wanted to kind of go down the line of other clothes these are going to be from so many different places it's a little bit out there i posted a tiktok if you guys follow me on there um, but it has a leg slit with a bunch of sparkles in it, which I think is super cute. So this one is from White Fox Boutique. So I'll insert some, a picture or something. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. For Nasty Gal, I ended up unfortunately returning a ton of stuff. So this is what I did keep, but about half my order I returned. And then one pair of pants I put on and I pulled the tag out and it ripped the whole pair of pants. So i am not saying go buy a bunch of nasty gal stuff i'm not saying like run but i do like the couple of things i did keep first item is this top which is a crop which with the black high-waisted pants that ripped was supposed to be a really cute outfit for work so i'm gonna have to find a different pair of black high-waisted pants for work so it has these really fun sort of sleeves on it and it's cropped and then if you don't want all these ruffly sleeves if you have short arms like me I actually roll them and it looks just fine so it almost makes the top more versatile next piece this is super cute but again read the reviews i had a hard time snapping this so if i'm like super bloated or something i like can't get the bodysuit to snap which sucks 
but it's just a plain white bodysuit. It's a nice material overall. It doesn't really have any stretch to it. So nasty gal item is going to be, again, for my trip, wearing black swimsuits when we are going to do fun stuff. So this is a black bikini top from Nasty Gal. It was like $7. I got a size eight. So you can find some really good clearance stuff. It is not like nice material by any means. Like I think this would last you a season or two. That was just more of like a need purchase rather than just like shopping for new stuff. I also posted these already. Um, so Princess Polly has like the pocket that says Princess Polly denim. They're that asymmetrical vibe look. I really think like it's so flattering to wear asymmetrical when you want to kind of slim your waist or make it look smaller. Only issue is they're super long. So I kind of have to crop them. And I didn't realize in the picture that it comes with this big leg slit. So that's kind of weird, but I just am still looking for like a white bodysuit that I could wear these to work with. Again, didn't want to have a bunch of denim that had a bunch of holes in it since I do, um, I am able to wear my denim in the office. Okay, next items. I'm trying to like speed this up so you guys aren't getting bored. These are from Gold Hinge, which is a TikTok brand. They're the TikTok skirts, super cute. So okay, this is the back. This is the front um, and I like both of them. I honestly, they just run super small. So like I play golf, I would not wear these golfing. Like everyone is obsessed with these tennis skirts. Like I don't even know if I'd like go to a tennis court wearing this because like if your butt is big at all, it kind of hits like, like your, the shorts under are fine, but you can see the shorts and then the skirt comes up really high, which maybe I'm just, it's like that TikTok song. You are conservative. Okay, next items. I have a black and a white. Oh, we have t-shirts, guys. <laughs> black and white, staple pieces. You need an oversized tee. I like the boyfriend look because it covers more of my tattoo. So at the point where it's like 90 degrees, I'm in the office, maybe I can wear one of these t-shirts, dress it up with like a pair of dress pants and heels. Next graphic tee. This is, I, I, think I, I think I said this, but this is all my finds from Pretty Little Thing. So I got a lot from there. This one just says Los Angeles. There's a bunch of different colors. I've just been obsessed with graphic tees. I like wearing them to the gym. I also got this Hangover Club t-shirt, which was fun just for the bachelorette trip. I actually ended up having to get like the size two, so it fits like a tight crop top. But if you get it in your size, it's not supposed to fit like that. But I just knew like knowing the material and stuff, and I liked the graphic saying like it could be fun to wear this like on the way back with like a pair of sweatpants. But um, this comes in a set, and I think they're almost sold out, so that's why I had to just get the smaller size and I'm gonna literally wear it as a crop top that's like super tight. Okay, so now we're getting into the more work-related stuff. So I had a bunch of fun, trendy pieces, like more like Gen Z, more like like if I was still at college and stuff and all, like doing a bunch of things. But straight up, like I just really wear black, gray, white, and I wear like denim and like some dress pants, and that's pretty much it. So I bought all of these black bodysuits. So I will try them on for you. I have a black one that buttons up. No promise they're gonna be in the order as I'm showing them. We've got some button-up ones. We've got ones that are softer. There's different cuts on them. Uh, there's like cutouts in the front, cutouts in the back, but they're all long sleeve and they all regardless cover the tattoos. And then, oh, this one snuck its way in. This is not a work related bodysuit. <laughs> this is for my drip. This is a black tank top that is like, it goes this way and then there's a cutout on the side. So that's super fun. Um, okay, so next item is all of these tank top bodysuits, which I told you before I like to wear tank top bodysuits and then wear like a blazer over it or wear a sweater or something. So you just have to like read up on the fabric, read up on the reviews. I never know what fabric I like. I like like cottony things, but one of these is like really structured, but there's a couple staple bodysuits. I talked about earlier, I bought that skirt for my friend's boutique. And then I bought this tank top knowing I could wear it with that yellow skirt. So this is just a white ruffly um, tank top that I really liked. Pajamas, I've never, I don't really have a ton of matching sets. So I got this one and, or is this one? This is inside out. Um, but yeah, I, they have cute pajama matching sets. Next item is what I'm wearing. They somehow sent me a duplicate. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that. But um, I am wearing this lounge set and they sell them separately. So the top, super cute. It's like a V cut and it's cropped. But so you guys know, like my, my tattoo is sticking out of my ribs. So it is kind of high cropped. I thought it was like cropped a little bit lower. Um, and then I just like hike these up higher. I guess you don't have to necessarily. 
their cute lounge pants the um drawstring is not real so they're like more of like a legging lounge set this is like very like back to the start of quarantine like when everyone was working from home everyone was wearing sets like this all the time okay i also got these pajama shorts which i thought would be cute to wear with that um the hangover club t-shirt i've never been one to like buy lounge shorts i always just like wanted to buy athletic clothes that like i would work out in i've never really owned like lounge clothes you just lounge around in but kind of like it i'm not gonna lie last couple items for pretty little thing not clothes but i just wanted to include these i think i'll do a more honest review um coco and eve is a really popular brand so i just bought self tanner to try um and then i got this this citrus body scrub too so there's a lot of fun things on Pretty Little Thing you can find. I just like, it was easier than ordering another package, just getting it all from one place. Easier to apply discount codes that way too. And last, accessories from Pretty Little Thing. These are so obnoxious. These remind me of Kourtney Kardashian, <laughs> like the little sunnies and her just like being like, what does she say? What is her saying? <sighs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> So these are really cute and then i have these and i got these on a whim but i don't know where the hell i'm gonna wear these i'm probably gonna use these in pictures and that's about it i'll show you my last couple accessories my camera is about to die if it dies finally i got a new crossbody and i got a card holder so this is a staple not even just for spring but i feel like in life like when you're being an adult so i got these and i'm gonna take these everywhere with me thank you guys so much for watching comment like and subscribe down below let me know what you'd like to see next and i will hopefully see you in my next video bye in time my heart still feels the breaking but you make my world so bright it feels so right it feels so right